I had ordered a didgeridoo off of Amazon just a couple of days ago. You know, one of those long wooden PVC pipes that you blow into and it sounds like a Mongolian throat singer or some smoker of 50 years trying to sing a lullaby to their children. Well, I got a package in the mail today about five feet long and about one and a half inches in diameter, and I'm pretty excited. I was pretty excited to get it in the mail. Um, I've been tinkering uh, with it all afternoon, basically all day, af all afternoon. And it's a pretty fun instrument, the Vuvuzela is. Um, I found this website describing the alpine horn. Um, the didgeridoo originated in Arnhem Land on the northern coastline of central Australia and has some similarity to bamboo trumpets and even bronze horns developed in other cultures. Though it predates most of these by many millennia, almost 30,000 years, the characteristic feature is that the didgeridoo, which is just a slightly flaring wooden tube about 1.5 meters in length, is simply hollowed out by natural termites, or white ants, from the trunk of one of the small trees of the region. After cutting down, the instrument is cleaned out with a stick, the outside refined by scraping and then painting with traditional designs, and the blowing end is smoothed by adding a rim of beeswax. So I was playing around with this thing for a majority of the day, and I found it quite interesting, actually. It's a very interesting sound. Um, they did add a couple of beginner uh, beginner additions to it, uh, just to make it a little bit more beginner-friendly. But other than that, it's pretty traditional to the aborig uh, aboriginal didgeridoo. So I guess I'll just bring it in here and show it to you guys. Fifty-nine inches. As you can see, it is very large. And I said it is about an inch flat, an inch or so. So let me just give it a go. Look at that. But um, yeah, that is essentially the didgeridoo. This is my first time ever using it, and I must say I'm quite pleased with it. All right, that's it.